All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got another episode of Inside Star Citizen, leading us to the road to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, which apparently is still on schedule for the third quarter of this year. According to this um, latest, the latest weekly, uh, bi-weekly, I would say, roadmap update, which actually was not an update because there was nothing to talk about. Well, I guess no news is good news in this case. We'll see, right? We'll see. I still think it's going to be quite difficult. 324 is still not at the door. Win wave one now, at least we made a little bit progress, but uh, I have not been able to connect, as I said uh, earlier in the stream, I've not been able to connect for two days now. So it's not looking so great. Even today, they failed to release a new patch. So yeah, 324 really uh, having a hard time here. Hey, who knows? Maybe 4.0 will be a smoother experience, I guess we'll see. But one of the features of Star Citizen 4.0 is fire. Is it one of the most anticipated features of 4.0? I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not that excited about it. We know that Jared is very excited about fire. And so let's see. Maybe it is exciting. And maybe the devs have made some significant progress that may make this new feature relevant in the upcoming major Star Citizen patch. Let's check it out right now. Last week, we explored some of the new adventures available to players in space in the upcoming Alpha 4.0. But there are even more dangers to be found within your spacecraft and vehicles. Fire is huh. blazing a trail towards its awaited debut in the Persistent Universe. And while we don't want to burn any bridges oh, with no. the resource management team, huh. we'll jump out of oh, the fire. Oh, he's going to make those puns again. In just a few weeks. Wow, I really bet their ears are burning. We're fired up to give the VFX arsonists a chance to set the world on fire this week, or at least just the interior of spaceships, because we don't want them to burn themselves oh, out. Oh, so it's not the environment. Playing with fire. I'm out of idioms now. It's okay, Jared. Um, I'm gonna go just... see if I can add more fuel to the fire. <laughs> Let, let's get this over with. This guy looks like Foxy a little bit. Okay, this looks pretty cool. I like the pizza guy. In 4.0, we'll have okay, fire this. inside of ships. Mm -hmm. For our initial rollout, we didn't really want players to start fires everywhere. Uh, the poor service they really wouldn't Wait, be able to second. handle it. So we. So he did say initial rollout. Does that mean that we will be able to set the worlds on fire? Can you imagine we go to Microtech and we set the forest on fire or Hurston as well? This would be pretty cool, I would say. We decided to focus on the, the interior of ships. Uh, they're smaller, more contained and more controlled. Fire is tightly integrated with the resource network system and a, a great fit for a first release wow, within the, the spaceships jump. where resource network will be focusing Ooh. on as many ships as we can. The hell! Starting it's literally a, fire a hell that we're going to be bringing there in, and it, in like different kinds of damage. Fires can be caused by ship items when okay. they hit zero health. There are also ways for ship items to cause fires well, in the normal right. running and operation of them. We're currently looking at making it so oh that when Lord. they misfire and they have the highest level of wear, oh, that there okay. is a chance that they can also cause fires. So it, it, there's going to be some kind of element of random of random elements in the, in the way that fires are created in the game, right? I see, I see. So it can be a misfire, but also depending on the wear. All right, okay, cool. But other types of damage. Oh my gosh! So laser guns are going to be able to set ships on fire as well. Oh whoa whoa whoa! Oh, we're gonna have to be super careful. I always use laser guns. Which like impacts from weapons or explosions, they could also ignite a fire. Oh, the grenade! Another way to start a fire oh is getting God. the environment hot enough and you know, to actually get. What, what I really like about this, what's really cool, is that imagine you've got some NPCs or players who are entrenched and they're just covered and just stay there. You throw a grenade and you start to set the whole place on fire. They're going to have to leave. I can see a lot of potential already with fire. That's, that's awesome. Your surfaces to auto-combust. 
for example, if you open up your door on a really, really hot planet and the hot <laughs> air starts to flow into your ship, then uh, if that air is hot enough and some surfaces might start igniting from that. Seriously? I can open my door and my ship might catch fire? You would need a room to reach, I think it's like a thousand Kelvin for okay, those materials to start to smoke. So it's something that's technically possible, but it's not likely. If the planet is warm enough, yes. Is there a planet warm enough to do that right now? Don't think so. Okay. Yeah, they don't think so, but 1,000 Kelvin. Uh, 1,000 Kelvin. How much is that? 1,000 conversion here. Uh, there we go. So there we have Kelvin. So let's go all the way to 1,000. Uh, Where's degrees Celsius? Celsius here, 1000 degrees Celsius is 700. Okay, we have nothing in the verse right now that can set uh, things on fire. Okay, <laughs> that was that. <laughs> You're saying systemically it's possible. Systemically but, it's possible, okay. yeah. It's no. technically possible, but very unlikely. Yeah, I Don't think the, the warmest temperatures are like 475-ish on, on Aberdeen and Ariel, so we're still far from that. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Part of the fire hazard system propagation is based on the fire triangle, which is oxygen, fuel, and temperature. Nice, okay. Oxygen is tracked by the room system, the atmosphere that is most rooms in the universe have their atmosphere tracked, uh, including oxygen. The fuels, they will be tracked on the surfaces, so every surface in the universe is marked up with a surface type. That surface type has different properties. Right, so not everything will be flammable, right? Probably metal is more likely. I don't think it's gonna melt, but it would be more likely to melt than just be on fire. Although if it melts, it could be technically, anything that touches it could be on fire as well, right? So we, I would say that it probably would make things even For worse. fire propagation to work. The heat that is usually from a ignition source is the damage that could happen, but also if you have an object already on fire, that could start a fire again based on the heat that that fire is emitting. Fire will start small if you have a, a small ignition point, so it will not start blazing immediately, so it will okay, start that's propagating so quite still, slowly. But it still if you gives leave people it the minutes, then the fire it. will start growing, and the more it grows, the faster the propagation will happen and the larger the fire will get. It's quite complicated to have a control over that much energy, heat. It's a balance. Yeah, that, I, mean, I think that's you would the hardest the whole thing to get, <laughs> having the balance, having the fire texture that works well with the particle nice behavior. Chair burning. With the heat <laughs> These are some great shots. You need to, to have the whole feeling of heat and danger, and it's when you get this spot where it really starts to make you look certainly afraid of it that yeah, it starts good. <laughs> Gets good. Was... You know what? What I've really liked so far is that you can set other people's ships on fire, and you know, as much as I would hate having my own ships on fire, I think it would be very fun to see other people's ships on fire. You just watch them. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> You've been incinerated instead of eradicated. <laughs> that would be so awesome. I, I I start to understand now. I start to get it. Why Jared is excited about fire. I'm I'm starting to get excited about fire as well now. I don't know about you guys. Hey. Each of the materials that we have marked up, they have their properties and we can set a material to be combustible or not. Most surfaces will be combustible. A few exceptions, such as glass, will okay, not be. Okay, glass. So will it melt? But the ones that are, especially in ships, we decided to go for a more tech approach. So even if metal itself will not easily combust, we Why assume that behind that metal, there will be pipes and cables that 
can catch fire oh, so they based are going on to, the uh, properties that each surface that. type has. For example, wood will burn different from rubber or plastic or metal. So the propagation between those will interact differently. That would be cool if Don't you could worry, have like, like oil. Not everything will catch fire at the same time. We have these different properties that will cause different surfaces to catch fire at different times. You have to think of the other things that can oh, also cargo. catch fire. Look things at the cargo like boxes. your cargo, which no. you probably don't want to of catch course, fire no, because right. if it burns out, you will lose it. Wait other a second. Thing Wait a second. You would still think that some cargo containers would be strong enough to withstand that fire? I mean, especially if we're talking about very expensive commodities. I mean, cheap commodities, maybe not, right? But expensive commodities, or maybe they could be an option to to pay for containers that would be fire resistant. That could be an interesting alternative for the future, perhaps. Things might be loose ship items that you have laying around just in case you want to repair your ship. The player itself will not be able to catch fire, oh, but no. the player will feel the Oh no, why? Come on, that would have been so much fun to see players on fire. Come especially imagine you have, you know, weapons that can set players on fire. How awesome would that be? And you know, having a, a flamethrower, hell, why not, right? Oh no, that that's a missed opportunity. The influences of fire in their environment. So if you step into the fire, then you will take damage. Oh, look at that. The uh, fire If you are near to the fire, you will feel the heat. So your uh, actor status will start showing up with like higher temperatures. If the fire is not managed properly, for example, your life support uh, can't feed in enough oxygen, then oxygen will be drained and your player will start to asphyxiate. Why can't I set people wow. on fire? Yeah, right? Tech. Oh, no. Will you commit here and now that someday we'll set people on fire? I will commit to nothing. Oh, come on. <laughs> I tried, everybody. That, see, I, I, I'm with Jared here. It will be so awesome. What do you mean, Tech? How come our, our suits are not made of the same material as the ships, right? Why can't we apply the same materials to our suits than the ship? Is it because of desync, perhaps? Or or what pl the way players players are made or act? I, I don't know if you have any idea or clue. Let me know in the comment section down below, right? People will have different ways of setting fires to ships. Hopefully other people's ships, not your own. Yeah, right. It is yes. important to know for 4.0 that we will not have fire outside of ships. So if you set fire to an item inside one ship, you can bring it to another ship, given that the medium that you're traveling through has enough oxygen to sustain the fire. So it can be the air outside. You can set fire by damaging items in the ship. So shooting them when an item dies, that has a chance to set fire. All right, so it has to be in, let's say for example, I want to burn this pico. I would have to burn this pico in my ship because it works in ships, but not outside. Transport the burned pico, the burning pico, into someone else's ship, and then that's how oh, that's. There's gonna be so much griefing with this. This is awesome. Other oh, ways man. to set fire are bringing in. Are you guys going to do this? <laughs> are you guys going to do that too? Ship. I am so going to do that. And you put it like right next to the things that were burned. One of the biggest <laughs> challenges that we recently had with fire was <laughs> the networking. And Francesco has done a really, really amazing job with getting that ready. The presence or absence of fire is a very, very important thing to convey oh, this, to players. This guy looks you like don't he want loves the player the fire. stepping into a thing that doesn't look like it's burning or avoiding a thing that looks like it's burning. Synchronizing there you go. There's a fire, fire was team. a very important part of making sure that the feature functioned correctly. And we have a lot of data that fire generates, and a lot of data doesn't work well over networks. There was a lot of work put, being put into relying as much as possible on the fact that our fire system is stable, it's deterministic, it will always do the same thing given the same initial parameters. Yeah, I'm not surprised he's saying that because they've been working on fire for years at this point. I remember, like, even during the pandemic, I think it was even before the pandemic, that we, we started seeing the first prototypes of fire and then for, for, for some 
couple of viewers we didn't hear about fire i personally thought they had canceled their work on fire and then all of a sudden it comes back for stars and fire 4.0 oh, oh there comes back fire right so they've been working on this for really 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 long time and i'm not surprised that it's it's a feature that looks all fledged out and ready to go mark my words guys we are going to see fire in squadron 42 as well i am certain of that and it's also going to be an interesting parameter that's going to be uh, defining perhaps how we are going to handle various situations i'm pretty sure that that's going to be an important part of the single players campaign as well there were a lot of cases. There were cases of players joining in late. They obviously don't get where the fire was three hours ago. They just see now. They need to know what it is now. There's players who have really bad internet connectivity or servers struggling a lot. Situations that bring a halt to the continuous progress of fire from one end or the other. And we need to reconcile that. So we needed a way to yeah, know right. How they're going when to handle these? fire was no longer suitably <laughs> similar between what the player was seeing and what the server thought was there and refresh it at the that fire point meme. <laughs> and minimize how much data we needed to refresh it at that point. We are pretty happy with the way it works now. Uh, we have it so that it sends as little data as possible to sort of create these sync summarized states for the client and server. And you know what, when these what, what, I'm sure is going, what, what I'm sure is going to happen is just like we have the med runners, for example, who specialize in healing people. I am certain we are going to see firefighter orgs in the verse. I'm, I'm sure this is something that's going to happen. We actually send a relatively big, that still compressed, cool, but right? relatively big snapshot to synchronize everything back together. A fire that is left unchecked will spread throughout your ship. And if it does this and it reaches your ship components, oh, it shuts down. down. Then you'll be having a very bad day. And this could lead to your ship being both crippled or destroyed. Nice. So this means you will be able to put out fires using a fire extinguisher. So that's what we saw in the Star Engine demo last year's season con, right? There was this, this big reclaimer with a lot of, fire, of smoke coming out, right? Because there was a fire inside and they did exactly the same thing with a little cutter there. Nice. Where possible, we have made sure that fire extinguishers are readily available throughout our ships. The extinguishers, they're very simple to use. They are point and shoot. You have to be careful that you don't start flailing wildly with your extinguisher. If you have to aim at the base of your fire and then keep it there to cool down the surface and take away enough of the heat and the oxygen so that the, the fire calms down. There will be a temperature readout where you can see how strong the fire is still where you're aiming. And you need to keep your finger on the trigger until yeah, right. it actually goes out. Mm. Fires can just be smoking there. And yeah, right. It, the, the, the key with fire is not extinguishing the flame. It's putting the temperature down. That's the thing, right? Because if there's no flame, but it's still super hot, the flames are going to come back eventually. So you have that's one that's basically firefighting 101. And that's why sometimes you know you see firefighters and they're still watering some places, there's no fire, but they know that it will come back if they don't do that, and you're gonna have to do the same thing. That's very well thought out. That's very well thought out. I love this here. Technically, it's very close to being on fire, so you really do want to make sure it's really out before you move on. Because if you just leave them smoking and then go wandering off <laughs> there's a good it chance back. it will heat up again and catch fire again it's worth knowing that a fire extinguisher has a limited amount of ammo within it to your benefit so you can also take your fire extinguishers back to where they are stored okay. plug them in and then they will recharge the ammo oh, however it is important to know easy. that if your ship doesn't have a functioning life support at this moment, the recharge will not work. So that's how they balance If you that. leave the fire completely untended, then your ship can completely burn out. So <laughs> it will be look completely black. If the life and support be, uh, can be, keep be up be providing enough light. oxygen, then it will just keep going until all of the fuel that is the surfaces has been burnt out. Or if the life support is not running, then your fire right, will start to diminish. But if support. you 
don't do anything, the life support will keep feeding in oxygen enough for the fire to be sustained and start spreading everywhere. You don't want people to put fires out? No. I, I want them to die in a fire. <laughs> Views and opinions of Leo do not represent those of Platinum Fear and Games, Harvard Space Industry, or its subsidiaries. <laughs> I'm, there I'm are sure more ways to fun, right? extinguish some, some fire people will with die the life fire. support and resource network. You can cut uh, power to your life support for a room, and that means that there will be no more oxygen provided, which means that the fire itself will start using up all the oxygen and it but will if you turn it on again, it will come slowly back, right? by itself. Another way is to open up your doors to open space, and that will mean that all of the atmosphere is being sucked out into open space, and again, no more oxygen for your fire to But if you continue. do that, you cannot use the fire extinguisher. After a fire, you out. can repair your items or replace them. Fire can damage your interior of your spaceship. We have some very beautiful burn decals that Francesco and loves Guillaume fire. have been working on to show he loves you his fire. where your ship has been burnt. The visual damage to the surfaces is not something you can repair manually, but you can okay. go to a repair station and oh, uh, repair all right. your okay, ship cool. there, and that will get rid of all of the okay. visual burn. I'm sure it's going to be but expensive. But if I want to leave though. it burned, because it looks cool, it you does. can do that? You can do that. It persists. Nice. Nice. Use this I'm system. very happy with the current progress. It's been a very long road for oh, the team has, to uh, get to this point. It's amazing to finally be able to roll this out to the players. This guy's been working. It's amazing to work with. It's just so fun, and the results are very good and very quick. So I'm looking forward to, and to see big, what people will smoke do with well. it. Like what kind of weird edge cases yeah. they'll find, and we'll probably effect. have to fix up. But it's as long as the servers don't die because of fire, and I think <laughs> we will be able to. Server machine will, will will take care of that. Oh, is that a new Pico? So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned. Well, we learned that fire might be more exciting than we may have thought. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the chat right there on Twitch, as well as in the comment section down below on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Irad. I'll see you guys in the next one.